A few weeks ago, the world shook. Now this wasn't because of a massive earthquake or anything, but I suppose it could have been an emotional one. Pokemon I Choose You hit select theaters, and one scene in particular drove people insane. Towards the end of the movie, Pikachu talks to Ash, and it isn't a Pika Pika, it's plain English. Now, I won't go into exactly what is happening in this scene for spoiler reasons, but the effect of this happening lingered long after it occurred. Whatever was being worked up to in the movie was cast aside as people's minds melted over a few spoken words. Childhood memories shattered and any immersion people had with the movie subsided. I think this choice to make Pikachu speak backfired to some degree, because it had this effect. Let me explain why before moving on to the bigger issue. The scene in particular this happens in is an emotional one. The bond between a trainer and Pokemon is quite strong especially when we're talking about Pikachu and Ash. However, while adding dialogue to this scene may have been a choice to increase the emotional response, I think the disruption it caused nullified its effect, or at least created an emotional response contradictory to what should have been felt. But this raises so many different questions. Just how is Pikachu able to talk? Why just in this moment? Non-canonically, we have things like Detective Pikachu, which obviously show a Pikachu conversing, but framed within the overarching story, it hasn't happened. Some people will argue that since this situation in the movie was very stressful and taxing for Ash, he may have imagined it all. This could make sense, since his vision is obviously blurry judging by how we see Pikachu on screen. Perhaps this was a way to show just how strong the bond was between the trainer and his Pokemon. Regardless of a language barrier, Ash always understood what Pikachu was saying, despite not being able to communicate in the same language. It'd be like how pet owners build a bond with their pets, and through familiarity, they can understand their pet's intentions. If that is the case, the argument is over. But what if I told you there was another explanation for this? Something that could possibly be explained through the Pokemon games and anime. When people think about Pokemon talking, most people immediately think of Team Rocket's Meowth. Meowth was an interesting character because he was the only Pokemon to talk in the series, besides legendary or psychic Pokemon. This wasn't something he was born with though. If we rewind back to episode 70 of the anime, we actually learn how Meowth learned to speak. When he was younger, he was always hungry and never knew where his next meal would be coming from. However, after being abused and then seeing a movie, he decided to head west to Hollywood since he saw a young couple in the movie feeding a fellow Meowth ice cream and chicken. After traveling to Hollywood, Meowth encountered a female Meowth, who he fell in love with. However, he was rejected because she lived a life of luxury, and he was a poor Meowth who lived on the streets. After seeing this adoration for the life the humans provided her, Meowth vowed to become more like them. This is when he began teaching himself to walk on two legs and to learn English. He would spy on classrooms and over time began to learn the language and posture of humans. This of course took a while, but before long he was able to do both. Now, this is interesting because it paints a picture that Pokemon have the ability to pick up language if they truly desire to. Meowth was capable of learning the spoken word of humans, despite this normally not being the case with others. It'd be like trying to teach your pet English, which would probably be an impossible task. With this in mind though, could Pikachu have learned this language through traveling with Ash? Is this intelligence and learning curve something that only applies to Meowth? Or could the language eventually rub off on Pikachu as well? It does make you wonder. But without spending time to hone this language, I don't think it would be possible. Very rarely is Pikachu separated from Ash. Thus, it wouldn't make sense for Pikachu to teach himself even in the dead of night. On a side note, it's said that learning English actually influences what abilities a Pokemon can learn, as Meowth lacks Payday, and this was a plot point in a later episode in the anime. However, there is another angle that we can look at this from. Meowth certainly isn't the only Pokemon to speak. He may be the only Pokemon we know to verbally say the words, but plenty of other Pokemon have communicated with humans throughout the series. Any legendary or psychic Pokemon has been shown to be able to telepathically speak to others. This is very apparent in many movies and some episodes of the anime. This is where things get interesting though. Obviously Pikachu is electric type, but with recent expansions to the games, we can see the direct results that a region can have on a species. A low lot form from Sun and Moon changed the nature of Pokemon in general. What's interesting is that Raichu in particular, the evolved form of Pikachu, has the capabilities of being psychic type. With this, they of course learn a ton of psychic based attacks. However, with psychic abilities also comes the chance of being able to speak telepathically. Ash's Pikachu didn't really grow up in the wild in one single area, and instead traveled the world with Ash. Perhaps this may have influenced its development. It's not the same as growing up in isolation and evolving differently because of that, but I can't rule it out. If the desire was there to communicate on a higher level, 
perhaps these psychic traits could have begun to develop. It's apparent in Alola Raichus, but it is unclear whether the influence could have started back when these Raichus were Pikachus or Pichus. Could these psychic tendencies be leaking through to Pikachu? We don't know where Ash's Pikachu originated from. All in all though, this leaves us with three possibilities. Ash is going a tad crazy, Pikachu picked up in the language on the extensive Pokemon journey, or Pikachu has innate psychic abilities that are starting to shine through. Obviously, someone could argue that it's simply for emotional impact from a production standpoint. But I love overthinking stuff and connecting the dots. But now that I dumped that in all of you, I'd of course love to hear your thoughts. Why do you think Pikachu was able to talk in the movie? What is your personal theory? Canonically, this movie retcons a lot of things that took place in the anime. So there's a lot of possibilities. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this electrical language recap. If you're looking for some other Pokemon content, there's plenty on this channel. Go ahead and give my video about why Pokemon's economy is doomed to watch. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching guys and gals, and until my next video, cheers.